let us discuss this example in this example we have to find a volume we have very simple formula to calculate a volume i have written that formula here there is no any function simply triple integration dv dv means dx dy dz okay so the very important thing that is the region okay so that we have to find volume of that region let us discuss what is the region here so let me mention here s is bounded by s is bounded by what we have z is equal to 5x square plus 5y square see power of z is 1 power of x and y is 2 so that means this is a paraboloid let me mention here so this is a paraboloid okay see what have they given here uh, this equation we have and power of z is 1 that means this paraboloid is about around z axis see z has a positive sign so that's why the paraboloid will be in upward direction so let me draw the paraboloid here so paraboloid will be like this okay i'm drawing a rough sketch so it passes through origin obviously since i put x with z is equal to 0 we will have x and y are 0 so this paraboloid is uh, yes it is around z axis and it passes to origin and it is in upward direction so we'll have paraboloid like this let us go further uh, yes let us discuss the second curve so let me write here z is equal to 6 minus x square minus y square power of z is 1 power of x and y is 2 so that means it it is again paraboloid so let us express it in its standard form what will i do i will shift x square and y square on this side we will shift z on that side so x square plus y square is equal to 6 minus z power of z is 1 so that's why it is uh, uh, this paraboloid is around z axis but it has minus sign getting z as a minus sign that's why this paraboloid will be in downward direction so let me mention here it is a paraboloid okay this is a paraboloid which is in downward direction so it will be like this so that paraboloid is around z axis so definitely it cuts z axis at some point so let us find find that point so if i put x and y 0 what will happen we will have z is equal to 6 that means this paraboloid passes through a point let me show it here 0 0 6 okay this paraboloid will be in downward direction around z axis and passes through this point so let me draw a rough sketch of that paraboloid so paraboloid will be like this okay so i am telling you this is a rough sketch okay so we have this rough sketch of this paraboloid so these two paraboloids okay intersect each other okay in some curve so let us find that curve first okay so i am going to find that curve so you know well how to find a curve of intersection simply we put one equation in second equation so same thing i am going to do to find curve of intersection to find curve of intersection what will i do intersection we put okay what we do we put one equation so one equation that means this one z is equal to 5x square plus 5y square in second equation what is the second equation x square plus y square or you can simply say this uh, you can use this equation also no problem z is equal to 6 minus x square minus y square i'm going to put this equation here see what will happen okay just a minute let me write let us put and see what will happen okay so i'm going to put it here so 5x square let me write 5x square plus 5y square so this is value of z okay and this is equal to what we have 6 minus x square minus y square so what will i do now i'm going to shift those x square y score on y square on this side so x square will be shifted here so plus x square 5 x square plus x square that means we will have 6 x square in the same way i will shift y square on this side so we will have 6 y square so this is 5 y square okay so this is equal to 6 definitely we can cancel 6 from all sides so we will have x square plus y square is equal to 1 so we know that this is equation of circle and having radius r sorry radius r which is 1 here okay so when these two paraboloids intersect we get a circle there with radius r let me show it here so here where these two paraboloids intersect we get a circle so we are having a circle like this where they these two paraboloids intersect each other so when you take its uh, pro, see when we take its projection on xy plane we will have a circle like this with radius 1 okay center 0 0 and radius 1 1 comma 0 and 0 comma 1 in xy plane 
its projection will be like this okay so after that what will i do to convert a problem in cylindrical coordinate system since when we have a cone when we have a paraboloid when we have a cylinder we go for cylindrical coordinate system so here also i will put x is equal to r cos theta y is equal to r sin theta and z is equal to z to convert a problem in cylindrical coordinate system but see there is no more space to write make a screenshot of it then we will go further see then value of dx dy dz is r dz dr d theta so after substitution we will convert all equations into cylindrical coordinate system let us start with that para uh, equation of that paraboloid so we have see what we have z is equal to 5x square plus 5y square so you know that z is equal to z we have so we can put the value of x 5 r square cos square theta value of y is r sin theta so 5 r square sin square theta what can we take common we can take 5 r square common so we'll have in bracket cos square theta plus sin square theta which is 1 so z is equal to 5 r square so this is a required equation so let me show it here so yes equation of this paraboloid okay so yes this paraboloid is z is equal to 5 r square right so let us discuss second equation what we have now second equation is z is equal to 6 minus x square minus y square same thing will happen see z will be as it is right 6 minus so if you take minus sign common you will have x square plus y square and if you put these values r square cos square theta plus r square sin square theta by taking r square common cos square plus sin square which is 1 so simply i can write 6 minus r square so this is equation of second paraboloid let me show it here so equation of this paraboloid see z is equal to 6 minus r square now let us talk about limits so first we write limits of z then r and then theta see you know that when we consider uh, when we find the limits of z we always consider a strip which is parallel to z axis like this so you can easily see the strip is bounded below by this paraboloid okay whose equation is z is equal to 5 r square so its lower limit will be 5 r square and strip is bounded above by this paraboloid whose equation is z is equal to 6 minus r square so in this way we got limits of z let us talk about r so you know that when we find limits of r what we do normally we take a projection of that region in x y plane i have already written here okay i already drawn this diagram so its projection is a circle with center 0 0 radius 1 and here we draw strip like this to find limits okay so strip is bounded below by z that center origin 0 and strip is bounded above by a circle okay whose radius is 1 get it so that's why its equation will be r is equal to 1 simply we can write so limits of r will be 0 to 1 let us talk about theta we have to cover a complete region okay so that angle should be from 0 to 360 degree we have to go cover a complete circle so that's why theta will be from 0 to 2 pi so in this way we we have got limits simply in the formula of that volume we have to put those values and we have to solve the problem make a screenshot of it then we will go further so i wrote limits here okay so dv v is equal to triple integration dv we have dv means dx dy dz so yes uh, in cylindrical coordinates we have its value r dz dr d theta so inner integration with respect to z so r will be constant for inner integration and we can take it outside so in, this is equal to integration 0 to 2 pi 0 to 1 r will come outside integration of dz is z limits 5 r square to 6 minus r square dr d theta let us put upper limit lower limit 0 to 2 pi 0 to 1 we have very simple calculation here if i put upper limit 6 minus r square low, lower limit minus 5 r square dr d theta so this is equal to 0 to 2 pi 0 to 1 what will we do we will solve the bracket 6 minus 6 r square dr d theta okay so we need to multiply this bracket by r so uh, we will have let us write 0 to 2 pi 0 to 1 when you solve the bracket 6 r minus 6 r cube right dr d theta so now let us integrate 
सो दिस इज इक्वल टू इंटीग्रेशन विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू आर इंटीग्रेशन सिक्स विल बी कॉन्स्टेंट इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ आर इज आर स्क्वेयर बाई टू 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 विल गेट कैंसल दैट मीन्स थ्री आर स्क्वेयर माइनस इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ आर क्यूब इज आर एस टू फोर बाय फोर टू टू विल गेट कैंसल सो थ्री आर एस टू फोर बाय टू ओके विथ लिमिट जीरो टू वन डी थीटा लेट एस पुट अपर लिमिट लोअर लिमिट जीरो टू टू पाई इफ यू पुट वन थ्री माइनस थ्री बाई टू इफ यू पुट जीरो वी विल हैव जीरो ओके सो डी थीटा इज यू राइट थ्री माइनस थ्री बाई टू इज थ्री बाई टू बट अगेन इट इज अ कॉन्स्टंट वी कैन टेक इट आउट साइड सो थ्री बाई टू विल कम आउट साइड इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ डी थीटा इज थीटा जीरो टू टू पाई वेन यू पुट अपर लिमिट वी विल हैव टू पाई देअर वेन यू पुट लोअर लिमिट वी विल हैव जीरो देअर सो टू पाई इफ यू पुट टू टू विल गेट कैंसल एंड यू विल हैव द फाइनल आंसर थ्री पाई बट इट इज अ वॉल्यूम सो आई शुड मेन्शन क्यूबिक यूनिट्स ओके सो येस दिस इज अ रिक्वायर्ड आंसर मेक अ स्क्रीनशॉट ऑफ इट देन वी विल स्टॉप थैंक यू बाय बाय